Hey, this is Angelita. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. Anyways, I created this look today and let me know what you think about it. Um, I call this one, Baby It's Cold Outside, because it is cold outside today. So I thought a blue eyeshadow with some silver and some pinks and something a little Christmassy and something to match with the weather. We do not get snow where we live, but it does get pretty cold. Pretty cold to us is like 30 or 40 degrees, which to some of you might be summer. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so I created this look. It's called Baby It's Cold Outside. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I did have plans to uh, paint some snowflakes on my eyelids on my upper eyelids but um, it didn't work out um, the eyeliner paint because that I had ordered and I'll probably show it to you in this video was really dry so I just had to keep dipping it in and you know by the time I would go in to try to make another snowflake it would just dry out and it was just a big mess so I went in with this chunky glitter um, which is pretty cool I mean it gave it a totally different look I mean I like how it looked so I don't know what you guys think about it. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Let me know what you think about my videos. Just comment below, like, dislike, whatever. So let's get into this tutorial so you guys can learn how I created this look. Um, I know my looks have been pretty dramatic and this may not be for all of you you know because you guys might look might like the more natural look which I do too so I'm gonna create some natural looks too uh, maybe this week or next week I'm not sure but a lot's been going on so been busy 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 my son gets out of school early for the next three days and guess what his birthday's on Friday he's gonna be 15 and that's my baby oh my goodness I can't believe he's gonna be 15 already that's crazy but yeah, so I have a very busy week, and then this is the last week of school, the next week they go on vacation. So, I mean, he's a big boy, it's not like I have to take care of him, but you know, he's still around the house, still makes noise, walks in the room while I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> so, um, so I'm hoping I could get some more videos in, a more natural look maybe, and a lot more dramatic looks, just as this one is. Uh, probably another red and green one uh, without all that painting and stuff, so. Anyways, if you guys want to know how I created this video, keep watching. I'll be back in the end. I'm going to apply this on my eyelid first. That way the eyeshadows will stay in place. And you guys know I always apply this. I'm going to also do a cut crease with this. So yeah, so you'll see me again with this. And I'm going to apply, spread it around with my brush. This is just the applicator. And I already did my eyebrows off camera, which I'm sure you've noticed. Kathleen Lights palette. I'm going to go in with the color Sapphire, and we're going to use a few different palettes for this look. Um, I don't know why any of these palettes did not have a silver color. They've just got the glitter, but none of but none of them have the silver. So, anyways, I have to use another palette for that. So I'm gonna use a total of three palettes. So first, we're gonna go in with Sapphire. You only know these colors are gonna have fallout. That's why we didn't do the face yet. We're gonna do that last. So we're just gonna get it and kind of drag it out. We're gonna clean it up anyway, so do not worry. I know everything looks crazy and messy now, but it'll look nice in the end. Just drag it out. So we're gonna get an almost clean brush, and this one is stained too with that pink color I used. Um, so we're just gonna kind of soften up the edges. We're going to go with another blue right over that or above it. 
39L Hit the Lights palette by Morphe. We're gonna go in with the color. And I you know these things are weird. This plastic. Uh, yeah, so let's just take it out. We're gonna go with this blue color here, and it's called uh, Don't Stop, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna kind of stipple it right above that dark blue. Build it up. This color seems like it has a lot of fallout. Like I said, thank goodness I did not do my face yet. With another um, almost clean brush, <laughs> we're just gonna kind of soften up the edges on that blue that we added. That was called Don't Stop from the Cat, not the Kathleen Lights palette, from the Morphe palette. I'm sorry. Just gonna kind of sweep it up. I don't want to blend and start swirling the brush around because it could get pretty wild with this dark color. Just gonna bring it out. Almost looks like I'm painting an ocean on my eyelids. The Kathleen Lights palette. Um, I want to go with this color Royal Jewels um, under the brow bone. I don't know why I keep saying um, but. I need to stop that. I'm not a little girl where I keep saying, um. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just gonna take this really lightly and then pop it back up. Okay. It's just the blue started connecting with my eyebrows, so I just wanna kinda separate it a little bit. Okay, I had to take that text message. My son cracks me up. Oh my gosh. I have five sons, but this one, just what he said, I can't stop laughing. Anyways, um, so yeah, so we're going to cut crease. But um, before we put the concealer on, I really don't want to put it, you know, on the dark blue because we got a lot of dark blue down here and it's going to turn the concealer blue. So I got one of my makeup wipes and I'm going to kind of try to wipe it off down here and not, try not to go too high because I don't want to ruin all that. Okay, that's looking good. Just kind of clean it up a little bit before putting on the concealer to cut the crease. That same concealer, we're going to cut the crease. I do that so I know how much to cut. Okay, so let me get my concealer brush and spread it around. Next, we're gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette and it's by Pro Fusion. Um, I bought this last year around Christmas time um, from Target. And why did I say um again a hundred times? I'm gonna go with this color frosting. Um, this is the only silvery color I have out of all the eyeshadow palettes I own, which is kind of weird, but yeah, which is why I had to dig into this eyeshadow palette, which you could tell is very, very loved. Just gonna pack it on. Okay, so that looks good. I think I'm going to clean it up now. Okay, so just get your makeup wipe and just wipe. I don't want to take too much of it off just yet. I need to see where it's going to land.
I was gonna do my face and then finish the under eye, but I thought, no, this blue might have fallout. So, I'm gonna do this. We could always go back and touch it up a little bit after the face is done, but I'm also going to mix in that lighter blue too, but I want to do the outer with that sapphire first. That lighter blue on the Morphe palette, that one that was called Don't Stop, we're just going to apply a little bit right here. So now we're going to jump into the face. <laughs> I know my eyes look crazy right now, but we'll finish it off and it'll all come together, promise. So we're gonna go in with the Smashbox Concealer and I'm gonna try not to talk because you guys all know what I use. It's either the Smashbox or the Born This Way um, or the Cover FX Foundation. So yeah, so let's jump in and I'm sorry for the Band-Aid right here. I was cutting meat the other day and decided to add some more meat, which was my finger. Going in with this Cover FX Concealer in the color G Medium 3. That sounded like bingo. G3! G3 anybody? I'm going in with my one and only favorite powder by Smashbox. And this is in the color Light Medium. Now that it's winter, I've noticed my skin is lightening up a lot, so I may have to get the light powder now. Yeah, this color powder really does kind of give me a tan in the winter, but I think I'm still gonna get the light one, the light powder. I don't wanna mess up my eyebrows because I've done that first. Minerals Blush. And these are the two colors I always put together. It just kind of gives it a nice glow. Let's do the apples on my cheeks. Next, we're gonna use this bronzer that I had gotten in uh, my, one of my boxy charms, and the color is Aditya. Um, I think I used it once, but let's use it again. Why not? Stipple it everywhere. I need some serious cheekbones, which I have. When I was overweight, I did not have them. Now I have cheekbones for days. Blend it all around. I just wanted to show you guys real quick um, that I bought these liquid eyeliners from Amazon because I, I was looking for colored ones because I, I wanted to kind of do that snowflake fla fake, flake look again. Um, the body paint that I used on my last video just kind of wore out by evening time. So I'm thinking these waterproof eyeliners might be better. I mean, look, they've got the green for the Christmas tree, the white for the snowflakes, and a bunch of other colors. So. But anyways, um, I don't think we're going to make snowflakes today because I kind of want to do a different look. But I'm going to use this pink eyeliner on my top lash line. The brush it comes with, I don't really like it. I feel like it's really stiff. As you can see. So I'm going to use my own brush from another one of my eyeliners. I think it was from one of my L'Oreal eyeliners. So I'm just going to use the brush just to apply it. I'm going to try to do it on camera. If I can't, I'm going to finish it off camera.
Okay, so I got the eyeliner on. It's not the best eyeliner in the world. It feels kind of dry, but we'll see how it goes as the day goes by. So next, I'm gonna go in with this black eyeliner by L'Oreal. I'm gonna go in my waterline with this. I like this gel eyeliner because it stays on all day, this black eyeliner. Especially with my watery eye issue, it does not come off. I mean, it'll wear off a little bit, but doesn't like completely come off like the rest of the eyeliners I use. Next, with Urban Decay Heavy Metal, and this is Glitter Gel. So we are going to put that on top of the dark blue and the light blue. This glitter is very chunky, so I'm going to put it on with this Q-tip. We'll try it with the Q-tip first. Whoa, I put a little bit on the bottom too. So I'm gonna put the mascara on and I'll do this off camera and I'll come back and do my lips and my highlighter on camera. In the inner corners, we're gonna go in with this color ruby. I don't really like that uh, colored eyeliner because it's already, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of cracking right here. Like, it just got like really dry right after I put it on and it just started cracking, which is kind of weird. So probably not gonna use that anymore. I'm gonna try to find a better brand that has all the colors. If you guys know any brands, let me know. For lips, we're gonna go in with this uh, color. Well, the brand is Milani. The color is Violet Volt. First, I do not have a lip liner that color, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here, which is uh, kind of a wine color. So lastly, we're going to go in with this new highlighter that I had bought. So the color, I think we're going to go with, hmm, since it's more of, this look is named Baby It's Cold Outside, so I'm going to use Vanilla, which is the first color. What did you guys think of the tutorial? Was it hard? Was it easy? Um, for me, super easy. Um, like I said, you know, the snowflakes didn't work out, which is great. You know what's funny? I never know what that alarm beeping is. I haven't found it yet, and it's funny. It seems like every time I'm recording, it goes off. Anyways, no big deal. Um, so yeah, so it was a pretty easy look to create. It's a very very dramatic and shiny as you can see the chunky glitters are doing its thing um, but yeah so and I'm going out in public like this <laughs> so I might get some stares but it's okay um, to me I feel like I should be in a circus 
or doing some acrobats in the circus or something like that, especially with that blue eyeshadow. Um, but yeah, talking about the blue eyeshadow, I ended up using three different palettes and I showed you guys as I was using them. I used a 39L Hit The Lights Morphe palette and I used that for the lighter blue. Um, I used my Kathleen Lights palette and I used that for the sapphire blue, which is in my crease. And can you believe in all of my upscale <laughs> eyeshadow palettes, I did not have a silver color. So I was able to find a silver color in one of my older eyeshadow palettes. So that's where I got the top color from. The main color, of course, I didn't have. And I could have swore, I mean, I had to have silver in one of those, but no silver. So anyways, it all worked out. Um, the only thing is my eye just started watering and it just, my eyeshadow started coming out right there, but I just gotta touch it up, no big deal. And um, the eyeliner, oh yes, yes, the pink eyeliner that I, eyeliner that I put on top, it kind of all came together with the lips and everything, which is kind of cool. Um, but that eyeliner is kind of an off brand that I found in, um, on Amazon. And when I put it on, I kind of felt like a little burning sensation on my eyelids. It's kind of freaked me out. I almost washed it off, but it stopped. But um, I noticed it dried, when it dried, it dried. Like it started like, I don't know, started like falling off or something. So I wouldn't recommend that eyeliner. I don't know, I'm probably just gonna return it. It's no good. Sorry, I keep looking at my watch. I'm getting like texts, just making sure it's none of my kids. But, um, but yeah, so this pretty much completes the look. I mean, I like it. Like I said, I named it Baby It's Cold Outside because it is cold outside. So I kind of threw on this blue sweater to kind of tie everything together. I lost my favorite earrings. I don't know what happened to it, but anyways, I don't have any jewelry on, just my necklace. So I'm not much of a jewelry person. I'm just more of a makeup person. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of this look. I'm going to be creating more looks. Hopefully tomorrow. Maybe more of a natural look. We'll see. I'll probably come out with something dramatic, knowing me. So, um, so yeah. So do subscribe to my channel. And like I said, those of you who have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. My goodness, my channel is growing. I love it. And um, yeah, I'm still gonna be creating videos for you guys. So, anyways, I need to get going because I'm getting kind of hungry now and. Um, we're gonna go eat something and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow so let me know what you think about this video all right bye